I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the emerging standard for the 802.11n technology. Uh, the 802.11n technology should be ratified in the first quarter of 2010. Currently, you see products shipping in the consumer and the enterprise with the 802.11n draft 2 specification. And what we see in the marketplace is that over the next three to five years, you'll see all the clients uh, on laptops shipping with 802.11n embedded technology in laptops. It takes three to five years because from the first introduction to when there's nothing but what I consider a greenfield deployment of 802.11n clients in the marketplace. There's four, four key things that we have to consider with 802.11n. Uh, these four technology improvements will make a uh, significant difference in the applications that we're seeing applied to this technology. One is MIMO, multiple in, multiple out. You see all these consumer access points coming out with multiple antennas. Uh, two radio solutions come out with six antennas. These uh, multiple in, multiple out uh, definitely uh, helps multipath problems indoors. Uh, what we're going to do is take a look at how these products are going to be involving. You'll notice a lot of people are doing embedded antennas just to get away from the multiple cost of antennas. So this multiple in and multiple out is a key technology differentiator and how you apply that to your products will be key. The second technology improvement is channel bonding or commonly known as 40 megahertz channels. That's the ability to take two 20 megahertz channels, combine them together on different channels and increase throughput on what we would consider a 5.8 backhaul radio. This significantly increases performance. The third thing is packet aggregation. Basically what that means in English is taking small packets, combining them together and then actually outputting them. Uh, to the system in very large frames. This is key in file sharing and, and transfers of large CAD files and large file sharing. When it comes to voice and video, you actually need low latency and larger throughput. So packet aggregation will definitely be key in the CAD market. Uh, the fourth thing is backwards compatibility. That's key. All the clients that are currently out on the market, the 802.11bg clients, will still work with 802.11n. You'll get an increased performance, but not as much as if you had 802.11n clients, or what we consider a pure greenfield deployment. Basically, I want to summarize the 802.11 advantages, and they are throughput, reliability, and predictability. Throughput, because of the increased data rates uh, that 802.11n brings to the table. Uh, reliability because there'll be fewer dead spots with multiple streams and predictability because we will be able to get uh, higher signal strength to the individual clients in greenfield and backward compatibility deployments. So those are the three most important things that you should take away from 802.11 and technology.